How's it going everybody? Martin with Bell Auto Spa and welcome to the corner of my garage. A uh, bit of a mess, but um, <laughs> what, what person's workshop really isn't. Anyways, um, this is going to be a review of the Microfiber Madness Incredipole. Um, now real quick, I'll show you the Incredipole. Uh, this go costs about 70 bucks. Um, you can use my discount code that I'm going to list below uh, for a 5% discount from CarPro US slash Sky's the Limit Car Care. Same, same company. Uh, they just go by CarPro US because they're CarPro's importer. So the Incredipole, um, and I got these other ones here just so you can see that I'm no stranger to the cheap ones. Uh, the Incredible is my most recent purchase, and let me tell you that this thing is much higher quality than these pieces of crap, <laughs> okay? Um, these are cheaper. These are like 20 30 bucks on Amazon, and they have different types, and I'll show you those, but I want to go over the Incredible first. So first off, um, Microfiber Madness is a made in Germany. Uh, they make really high-quality microfiber, um, and you know Germans, they make some high-quality engineered parts. So here's the whole unit itself uh, collapsed to extend it. Super easy. Couldn't be easier, right? You just have these things. This thing extends out. I don't know if I can fit the whole thing in the camera, but it extends out pretty far. I'd say a good, good five feet. Good five feet of length. Um, this is going to come in handy washing trucks and SUVs. Um, or if it's cold out and you don't want to get your hands wet, it comes in handy that way as well. And I'm going to demonstrate how to use this as well. Um, but it comes with this really nice high quality uh, cover. It's got a proprietary connection, so don't think that you can buy uh, just the head and uh, replace it with something else. It is a proprietary connection. Kind of annoying, but I can see why they did that. Um, but the cover comes off easily. Right. It's got this nice uh, just foam mesh underneath. Uh, really nice high quality microfiber, which is Velcro's in place. Holds a lot of water, super soft, right? Um, and so the complete kit costs about 70 bucks. And then if you start, you know, things start breaking on you, you want to get more, you can get more covers, you can get more heads, you can get more poles. So what's nice about this is it is completely serviceable. Uh, you can order replacement just the parts instead of ordering a complete kit. Now. Where it is better than these Amazon ones. So I'll show you this. This is the first Amazon one I bought. Um, it comes with two of these covers. So what's annoying about this is one, this plastic piece sticking out. But once this gets wet, when you're dragging it across the car, okay, because there's no foam under here. It's just the cover and a piece of plastic. This kind of drags like that. And then you can have like this dig into the side of your car, which can be annoying. Um, and as you can see, it only goes back and forth, doesn't have any any side-to-side uh, -side pivoting. And this pole, this pole is about four feet long. Um, you can do small SUVs, you might struggle with trucks, but other than nothing, right? Alright. Second one I bought, same style of cover, uh, but it does have a much longer pole. Now this is not a telescoping pole, which is annoying, it is just connects together with buttons. This one is a good, this is a good five feet long. Um, it is nice that it has this grip right here, but again, you know, with no side to side pivoting action. And it has that same issue, you know, no foam under here, just the cover. Um, and you know, that's it. But it doesn't telescope, so you gotta actually take it apart, which can be annoying. And the third one I bought, this one's a little bit nicer. Uh, it both screws together and telescopes. So this is fully collapsed length, which is a good four feet. And then you can telescope it for about another foot of length. So about five feet long. Uh, the end of this is nice that it does pivot around, right? Back and forth, up and down. Uh, but what I noticed about this is when I have this filled with water, this sags a lot and water gets stuck under here. It doesn't really leak out. Um, this is kind of like a spandex cover, and it's not very snug. Very, very loose on there, right? Um, it is nice though, like getting on top of SUVs and such. And I can do this. And you can reach the top of an SUV, RV, whatever. Um, you can kind of angle it, so that's kind of nice. But 
uh, still could be improved, right? So there is also the auto fiber mitt on a stick. That is a good product. I haven't used it personally. I've seen reviews on it. Um, and I might pick it up myself one of these days to test it out. But if we go back to the uh, microfiber madness, Incredipole. It's got that nice foam under here. This is nice and snug, all right? This is not moving and shifting around. It's covered on the edges. Uh, you don't have any risk of scratching anything. It pivots all ways and it fully collapses and extends. So I'm going to give you a demonstration on this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and extend this and let it sit in the rinse bucket here for a minute. Super easy to extend and collapse, by the way. Just let it sit in there. Um, I'm going to show you the car just so you guys can get to, you know, the car is dirty. Not that it's really important for a demonstration, but it is a dirty car. And I was, I was going to wash the car and I was like, you know what? Let me do a video on this because I haven't yet. So let's take a look at the car. Okay, so we got some light rain this morning. And what I hate about really light rain is it forms these little water droplets all over your car. It dries and then dust, dirt, pollen sticks to that dirt. And then you got all these nice uh, water spots. And these aren't the kind of water spots that are going to embed into the glass and paint. That's from hard water. The tape, these are the type of water spots from rain. These will wash away easily. They're just really annoying. Uh, it makes the surface really gritty. Um, so you want to make sure you do, you know, a good uh, pre-soak, which we're going to do as well before you wash the car. I did already clean the uh, wheels and tires, so those are nice, uh, but we got to wash the car. But I mean, just look, things pretty dirty, and my wife doesn't clean the car herself ever. But, you know, I like to at least give her a nice clean car to get into that she can see out of, because look at the glass, it's a mess. The top up here is terrible. So we are going to foam it, um, and then we're going to wash it with the uh, Incredipole. So let's get over to that. All right, so for our foam cannon, we're going to be using the MJJC Foam Cannon S version 3 with about 500 milliliters of water, so it's halfway full. It's really all you need for one vehicle. Uh, and then we're going to use CarPro Lift. The CarPro Lift is a 10 to 1 dilution. This is an alkaline, uh, alkaline pre-wash. So 10 to 1 dilution in 500 mils of water is approximately 50 milliliters. So what I can do is how I got this filled up to like 500, is I can just eyeball it until it's about halfway to the next line, which is 600. Let me go ahead and measure that. All right, a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. You can see the soap mixing around in there. It mixes in really easily. It kind of makes it look a little hazy, but uh, this is free of any dyes or anything. It does have an aroma. Actually, I don't know if it has added aroma. Um, it does have a citrus smell, but I think that might just be from the chemical they put in. I think I'm going to crank this thing up to max foam. Um, me personally, I dial it back just a little bit. Um, extends your foam out a little bit. It does make it a little bit runnier, but I like it to be a little bit runnier rather than super thick and clumping up and falling off. Um, anyways, let's get this thing foamed up. Right, now while it's dwelling on the car, we're going to go get and get our wash bucket ready. These are three and a half gallon buckets, uh, not five gallons, but uh, so we're going to use our little wash or car pro measuring cups here. Now these do come with a straw so you can just squeeze the bottle and siphon it out. Uh, since I don't wash cars every single day, the problem I was finding is as it sat there, it would siphon out and then the soap would start to dry in here. So you can just use them as regular measuring cups though. So uh, I believe it, what do I say, 1.35 ounces for car pro reset. Uh, 1.35 ounces for five gallons. So really one ounce should be enough. Maybe an ounce 
a uh, little over an ounce. So got a measuring cup here, ounces on the left, uh, milliliters on the right. Focus. All right. So I'm just gonna fill it up. All right. That should be good. It's a little over an ounce. Now I'm just gonna dump it in like this. These do have these little pore spouts if you do attach them directly to the bottle because they do thread on directly, but that's not how I'm using it. Uh, extra slow residue out of there. Alright. And let's foam it up. And knock over my foam canner at the same time. Uh, there we go, soapy bucket. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, the crud pole in there. So it's nice and sudsy, and we're ready to go. Uh, next, though, it's been dwelling for long enough on the car. As you can see, so we're gonna get that uh, foam rinsed off, and then we're gonna contact wash. All right, so just to show you the purpose of uh, foaming and rinsing, um, that initial gritty dirt layer is off. Now, there is still surface dirt on here. You can't really see it easily, but you can see, so normally the water on here, because I have it protected, beads up these perfectly round beads. See how they're all oddly shaped? That's a sign that you got a surface that's still dirty. And I can feel it. Um, so it definitely needs to be contact wash. Spraying and rinsing never washes your car, unless you're using dedicated touchless car wash chemicals, like Chemex, Stars and Stripes, which I've done videos on. Um, also, I have a discount for them. I'll link it below. But <laughs> let me grab the uh, wash mitt. So I've got a wash bucket and a rinse bucket, obviously. So you dunk it in your, after you're done washing a section, right, you dunk it back in your rinse bucket to rinse it off. It gets all the dirt off and everything. Uh, and I've got dirt traps at the bottom, that's what those are. And then you dunk it back in your wash water, and then you start washing. So let me demonstrate real quick with this thing how easy it is. All right, so nice and soaking in full of water. Uh, it's best to start from the top to the bottom, but however you want to do it, as long as you get your car clean. But you can see how easy that is. reach across the whole roof. I know I'm about six feet tall, so for you shorter people, that'll probably come in a lot more handy for you. So I'm rinsing it back off, ducking it back in the wash water, and I can move on to that. Imagine if it was a little chilly out, the water is really cold, my hands are completely dry. Super easy. Very easy to control in all those spots because since the edges have are covered in microfiber too, I'll wash all those crevices and cracks. Don't be scratch anything.
Easy. And then just easily rinse it off. Now let's go take a look. See how much rounder those beads are? They're not perfect, and I think honestly right here I didn't get very good, so I'm gonna have to go back over that. Um, but look at the, I know I got the top, so look at how like nice and round these beads are, because the surface is clean. So just to show you that this thing does work too, so you see the two buckets here. Oops. All right, wash water, rinse water. The rinse water is going to be darker by the time I'm done. So I'm going to wash the car. Um, I'm going to do that off camera because I mean, it's pretty straightforward how this thing works. And then I'll come back. All right. So we got the car washed and dried. It's all nice and clean now. No more dirt. All crap stuck on it. A little bit of drips out of the mirror. And I'll show you something. Excuse me. Take care of that. Now these wash buckets... See the wash bucket still clear. The rinse bucket is a little bit darker, um, and it's because um, it's darker, obviously, because the dirt is a little bit darker at the bottom. Uh, it's not super dark because this car, because it's been protected, doesn't accumulate mass amounts of like film. So all the surface dirt came off, and there's our incredible. Um, I did bring it out. See all the white fibers are nice and white. They're not dirty. It releases the dirt easily. So pretty good product. Now, uh, as for those drips in the mirror, let me grab something and I'll show you. Like Fiber Madness makes something called the Dropnetic. This is the Dropnetic XL. Um, for some reason, I thought two came in here, but it's only one. But that's fine because I just cut it in half. So, what this is is a microfiber towel strip. Uh, there's the information if you want to pause and read. So this is just a microfiber towel strip with magnets in it. So it's magnetic. Um, now, normal length of this the XL is super long, but I cut it in half, so I have two. Let's place it under there. Put the other one on the other side. That'll catch the drips. Come back after an hour or so, take them off. And if you drive with them on, it's okay. Um, as long as you're not like, you know, speed racer, they'll hold on. And you can, you know, when you stop, you can just pull them off. Um, these things are pretty nice. You can get a few of them if you got a, you know, a few trouble drippy areas in your car. Um, and I'll link those below. Uh, but that's it, guys. I mean, the Microfiber Madness Incredipole is an excellent, outstanding product, as you can see there. Um, especially if you have larger trucks or SUVs, or I, I just drive a four-door car, Kia Stinger. Now in the winter time I like to use it because I don't like to get my hands cold or sometimes I heat up my water with a, uh, what's it called, an immersion heater, um, but I mean there's multiple ways to do it. But uh, yeah, that's it guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did, uh, leave your thoughts below, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, but don't forget, check out down below, I'm going to put a discount link to uh, carpro-us, which is Sky's the Limit Car Care, if you're interested in this, any of the chemicals, anything you've seen in the video. Um, but that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.